Among the bustling streets of Mexico City, a sinister secret fested in the apartment of Josie Luis Calva, a self-proclaimed poet and writer. His story, steeped in horror and eerily mirroring his yet tubbished work, would soon send shockwaves throughout the nation. It began with the disappearance of Calva's girlfriend. The frantic search for her led investigators to his residence, hoping to find clues. But nothing could have prepared them for the gruesome scene that awaited in the shadowy urban corners of his apartment. The kitchen bore the most shocking evidence. Chunks of human flesh were found sizzling in a frying pan. Opening the refrigerator revealed even more horror a leg and an arm, coldly preserved. In a chilling twist, bones were discovered inside a cereal box, as if mocking the very essence of everyday normality. As investigators further delved into the apartment's recesses, a closet revealed the body of Calva's missing girlfriend, partly mutilated. The shocking discovery solidified the growing dread that they were dealing with a case like none Mexico had seen before. Soon, links emerged, connecting Calva to the deaths of at least two other women. Evidence suggested a pattern of murder, mutilation, and cannibalism. The title, The Cannibal Poet, seemed less a work of fiction and more a gruesome autobiography revealing the echoing silent victims of his unspeakable acts. In a disturbing twist, it was revealed that Calva was working on a manuscript titled The Cannibal Poet. As authorities leafed through its pages, they were confronted with graphic depictions of violence and cannibalism. The line between reality and fiction blurred, raising questions about the true nature of his macabre muse. Calva's reign of terror concluded when he was apprehended and put behind the prison's cold bars. However, the quest for justice faced an abrupt end. Found hanging in his cell, the self-proclaimed poet left a world still grappling with the scope of his monstrous deeds and many unanswered questions. 